Welcome to a new video in my channel and today I just want to give you a sneak peek of another project that I'm working on and this is going to be a Wi-Fi controller for my model trains so the uh, larger scale outdoor trains uh, because uh, I'm using track power and I'm using uh, digital control but I want to have an option where if I go somewhere which uh, doesn't use track power, they use you know battery control, I want to have my own solution how I can control the my engines or probably I'm going to convert some of my starter engines so I can go on to gas layouts. And I wanted to do something uh, you know myself and I've actually I've seen the local remote product from the UK and uh, I thought well this is going to be a good challenge for me because I think I can do the same but I can probably make you know some custom features that I want to include. So that's where I am at the moment. So it uses a microcontroller, which creates an own Wi-Fi network that I can connect to uh, using my phone or a tablet or basically you know any smartphone or mobile device. And then it has its own website how, uh, that gives you the controls to you know change speed, play different sounds and then switch on different lights. So what I have done so far is obviously you can change the speed and the direction of the loco so you can drive the motors. You have uh, four different sounds and these are just sound uh, effects. So maybe in the future I would be able to implement a proper loco sound but uh, for the moment I just wanted to have some simple sounds. You know like whistles and horns and bells. That's quite a long one and also I can you know switch on lights and of course I have directional lights and I have also some accessory lights so you know cap lights anything that you can switch on and then obviously if um, uh, the you know the headlights change based on the direction and then you have a couple of buttons where you can control the speed and the controller itself handles acceleration and deceleration you can co uh, configure this and um, you can use the slider to specify the speed or you can use these buttons and whenever you change the button you can see this uh, progress by going up and down which shows you the actual speed of the local so it handles the uh, acceleration and deceleration internally i've already talked about the sound effects and the um, uh, and the different lights so i have four light outputs two of them changed on direction and then the sound i haven't really measured but i think the internal memory probably holds about like 30 seconds of sound maybe a little bit more so i think it's going to be plenty enough for you know whistles and that sort of stuff the other thing i wanted to add is uh, this unit also has four inputs and i designed it to be used as read relays so i can have track magnets and these track magnets would uh, trigger sound so i have two of them you can configure which uh, sound to play when they get triggered and the only th the also the other thing i have added is i've added this shuttle mode so you know normally you just drive the train and it stops and starts and uh, um, as, as you would expect but if you uh, engage the shuttle mode and if you start driving the the local then it starts normally and then i have these two additional magnets here and if they detect any magnet what they would do oops is they would stop so this is like a station magnet which tells the local to stop and then when it stops it plays a sound and then it now waits at the station so you can configure how long it waits for the station i just put one minute so now it's counting down and it would start automatically so it would just resume to the or accelerate to the same speed that it was set previously and as i said you can configure what sound to play when it stops at the station what sound to play 15 minutes before it leaves the station so like a, like an all aboard announcement or, or a guard's whistle and then it also can play a sound when it actually starts from the station so you know short whistle or something like that and I have actually two different uh, um, read relays and they both almost do the same. So that's sound one. And now there's going to be a second one as it leaves. And now it just accelerates away. And I have two magnets and the difference between the two magnets is one is is like a regular station magnet and the other one is a terminus magnet which uh, 
and once it stops it changes direction so you can have a shuttle service between two end stops and it would just you know go from one stop at the end and then change direction and go the other way and you can use the two magnets as uh, in a way that it's going to shuttle between two end stations or two terminuses but it can also stop in any middle station in between where it doesn't change direction just stops and then waits and starts again so this is where I am at the moment and um, uh, well of course I still need to work on the hardware quite a bit I, I think I have probably about 80% of the code done and the hardware is well it's pretty much complete I just need to turn it into a more compact PCB and um, of course I'm reusing some of these uh, kits or uh, breakout boards that are available from China from cheap so I'm only using a few discrete components besides these uh, it's not going to be very compact but I think it's going to be still small enough that it fits in a G scale locomotive for example in an LGB uh, or well even in a smaller locomotive which has a bigger body and the motor driver can handle 3.6 amps and it is okay up to like 30 volts so it's pretty much, you know, it's more than enough what we are going to use it for. So we can power it anything between like, you know, from 12 to, uh, well, in fact, from probably from 6, 7 volts all the way to like 20 volts. So that will be off. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, once I have the project up and running, <coughs> once I... Um, this is going to be an open source project so I'm going to uh, make all the uh, this is going to be an open source project so I'm going to make the code and the PCB and everything uh, available so you can build your own unit as well I probably will try to build some units for sale as well I'm not sure you know what's the interest but um, if you are interested just uh, you know follow this video and and hopefully I will have some updates in a in a couple of weeks or maybe in a, in a few months but that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.